Good morning, David here with Destination Human. It is Sunday, August the 28th, 2011. Um, I'm going to bring this to your attention. Uh, this was uh, brought up by Richard Hoagland, and I hadn't seen any more uh, information out uh, on the web about it since then, so I thought I would uh, go ahead and make a video about it. I am at uh, NASA's JPL small body weight, uh, keeping an eye on, uh, of course, Comet Elodin. What uh, Richard was talking about was the um, the similarities between uh, the in, uh, there's something going on on the flip side of the coin, of course, with Elodin, and uh, wanted to kind of bring it to your attention too because it is awful strange um... first of all we're you know common element is a comet i mean uh... there there's no other explanation for this it is a comet um, but it has been changing trajectories what which the scientists uh... At nasa and jpl said it was going to do once it started interacting when it came into the solar system but uh, there are some, still some odd things that we want to talk about. Okay, today is the 28th. We're going to go ahead and advance this. Oops. Of course, it's September 11th. Now, it does still align on September 11th. Well, I shouldn't say align, but it does reach perigee in which it uh, starts crossing the upper portion of the plane of our universe, of our solar system. Now, if we're going we're gonna to go ahead and advance into November here, come back a couple days. November 11th, 2011. Uh, a date that we, uh, of, we all think we know about as far as the uh, portal opening up. On this day, Venus, Mercury, Earth, and Elenin all align. So there is some type of you know, insight to this happening. I'm under, uh, it's just kind of very strange. But here comes the real strange part as pointed out by Richard Hoagland. If we come down here to where the information is coming from, we come down here to data source and to producer. Now, data source is uh, orb. I haven't been able to find anything too much on orb. I don't know who this data source is, but I did find this definition in the American Heritage Dictionary, of course. A sphere or a spherical object, a celestial body such as the sun or the moon, um, an archaic, uh, the earth. Um, you know, those are the typical you know, definitions for it, but it came down here to orbited, orbiting orbs, the shape into a circle or a sphere, and archaic also means to encircle or enclose. Hmm. Okay. Well, we go back to the GPL here. And we come to automatic. Okay, is this the guy's name? Uh, what is this? So, I, uh, by Richard, what he, <laughs> thank you, Richard, again. We find out that automatic is a game, an internet game, a online game. It's also a uh, um, hmm, a computer game. It's the name of a character that comes and saves the Earth. And I go went down here to the information. And this is about the game. I'm going to read this to you. Automatic. 
I'm sorry if I'm cutting off this a little bit, see if I can't get, but I'll read it all to you. The year is 1957 and a fleet of flying saucers from Planet X have come to Earth. These saucers are under the control of the evil brain aliens who are abducting helpless human beings and taking them away to strange alien worlds to become slaves of the giant brain. Lucky for humanity, the race there exists on automatics, robots who police the galaxy in the name of what is good and decent. And you can go on and read the rest of this, but uh, how strange that this character's name is the producer for the information on Comet Ellen. Hmm. Little deep, guys. Anyway, I thought I'd bring that to your attention. Love, light, and peace. Take care.